So Twitter is probably the one that I'm most actively posting on, and then LinkedIn and Facebook. Twitter, first and foremost. Uh, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitter, WhatsApp. Sometimes it's more Facebook, sometimes it's more Twitter. And then WhatsApp, Snapchat, and Instagram. The GCC has one of the highest penetration of uh, mobile internet in the world. The average age of people here in the GCC is 27. When I ask my students today, you know, where the world is, and they say, well, it's in our pockets. You know, the very fact that they can do everything online, this has been a, a huge change, a radical change. The region is, uh, is truly wired and um, it's incredible how much one needs to engage over social media so as to be part of the debate. It has changed even the form of communication. We had like a huge hierarchy of communication. You can't, like we have like rules and traditions. And I think social media has crossed those traditional lines. Social media has changed everything, not only the Gulf region, I mean the whole world. If it's out there, everyone can see it. The whole world can see what's going on and the whole world can comment on what's going on. So it's such a big movement uh, globally that a lot of governments are grappling with the question on how to, to deal with this. The social contract that exists here in the, in, the, in the Gulf is different than elsewhere in the world, or not, or but let's say it's kind of particular. So the relation, the, traditionally the relationship that existed between the ruler and the rule is changing massively in a very short period. So that's why the challenges are a bit, let's say, uh, increased here. I think the government should figure out that they should accept that this medium cannot be controlled in the way that, they, that other discourse is controlled. I think increasingly governments are having to learn how best to manage uh, their expectations on uh, the parameters of debate on sensitive issues, but also not to completely stifle political discussion. We talk about red lines, but I wonder actually whether it's also an issue of self-censorship. Maybe saying something about this is not acceptable at the moment, not just for me as an individual, but for me as part of a community. Social media has created a massive change in this region. Previously, you didn't have any platform to exchange, like either socially or politically, and then suddenly you had that. So that created a big change, and now kind of the citizens as well as, as governments, they're learning to deal with this uh, new development.